Don't believe everything you see online. White Money finally reveals why he is yet to open his restaurant. Moving on, no one cares until something bad happens. Peter Okoye shares deep message, but before we commence fully on the gist. Welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trading latest gist happening on social media. If you have not already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share, turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. To all our amazing subscribers, massive love from us to you guys. Thank you so much for always staying tuned and for all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay tuned. Hazel Onyeze Onudeni, popularly known as White Money, explained why he doesn't own a restaurant. In an interview with Honest Bunch Podcast, he revealed that he needed $650 million to open a successful restaurant. He said he cannot do it on his own. That is the reason why he doesn't own a restaurant. When he was asked why he can solicit help from his fans, White Money questioned which fan can raise that amount of money. He said we shouldn't believe whatever we see on social media because it's a different thing in reality. His bombshell revelation has left the internet confused. Let's take a look at the video. I know one of the reasons why I don't have a working restaurant is because the cost for work, opening a working restaurant was close to 650 million. I can't do that on my own. Mm. The fans used to. So the fans who got 650 million in Nigeria for you. Don't believe everything you see on the net, fam. Hey! Just weeks back, after White Money releases his new song, Jada, he added a new car to his fleet of cars. This left many questioning his source of wealth after he splashed millions on a new car. He acquired a white S580 Maybach Benz. This caused many questioning the source of his wealth and called on Nidu, the media personality who is known for exposing celebrity to dig out the source of his income. Reacting to it, Nedu dropped two videos of white molly dressed as a woman. In the video, the kids saw Nedu checking out the luxury ride before making his way into a room where he saw white money dressed in female clothing and had a heavy makeup on his face. Revealing his source of income, Nedu said that white money is a hustler by day and goes into hookup by night. The video got many talking as some came up with a question if the star had joined the fruity club. In another news, White Money revealed interesting facts about his female colleague from the reality show. In an interview of a well-known podcast, he said that many of his female peers enter reality TV show primarily to flaunt themselves rather than pursue opportunities. He pointed out saying that once a female contestant exits the show, they promptly request that they get connected with his worthy friends. His female colleague fails to effectively promote themselves, rather they engage themselves in their silly activities and ended up squandering their time. Moving on, award-winning singer Peter Okoye of popular music duo P Square shared a message with his million of fans. On his Instagram page, he shared a food for thought on the importance of loving one's life pointed out how no one cares about you till something happens. Opening that life isn't balanced, he advised his fans to love themselves as they are all they have got. He made a reference to a man who died of hunger, but food was served in his funeral. No one gives a dime until something happens. Weeks back, Peter Okoye had a message for entitled Nigerians who were fond of blaming celebrities for their poor standard of living. He told them to stop looking for people to blame and start holding the government responsible. So whatever be their anger, they should direct it to the government and not celebrities. He noted how those in power were sending their children overseas for medical treatments and quality education, yet Nigerians expect celebrities to build schools and hospitals for them. Please learn how to hold your government responsible. Enough of looking for people to blame. You guys are quick to blame celebrities. Speaking to those questioning him for not signing any artists, he replied them by saying that it is not everybody artists must sign. He made reference to Michael Jackson. That who did Michael Jackson brought? Was it not only his sister he signed in before his untimely death? He pointed out the hypocrisy of how Nigeria would have dragged him for engaging in only family business if he had signed his sister. So he doesn't want to sign in anybody. He invests his money more in technology. Whatever be your thoughts, contributions, opinion, do hit us up in the comment section. We would love to know what are your opinions are. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. And if you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and share this video. See you guys next time till I come your way again. And thank you so much for watching. Do 
stay blessed.